Hello everyone and welcome to my attempt to make a Mass Effect Normandy in Kerbal Space Program 1.2.2 and this is around Kerbin so there's not realism overhaul but I sort of cheated I actually went into Blender and made these three fuel tanks basically they're fuel tanks except the front section does contain two Kerbals though I don't have an interior for it so you can't really see the Kerbals in the IVA view but yeah they're just really fuel tanks and I wanted them to be as generic as possible so I could use them for other things like um, what I show here attaching a uh, vector engine to the tail of one of them uh, but also because I'm lazy and I didn't want to do texturing so yeah, instead of uh, actually applying uh, Normandy texture to them, which would make it less generic and less useful for these parts, I uh, decided to use B9 procedural wings to sort of add the textures to the side, and I've just started that out there, but here I am making the engine pods, and that's Lackluster Labs right there. Uh, it's not quite exactly the same. I didn't want to make all of the parts in Blender and try and just make it uh, make Normandy like that so it was just the curve of the body that it was just really hard to match with any normal parts in uh, KSP even if you have a lot of mods that that particular curvature is just really hard to get and I, I was very picky about that but otherwise I was alright with using procedural part mostly procedural wings and so this is going to be sort of an aerodynamic basket case uh, because I'm using aerodynamic wings to do the sort of uh, decoration on the body and also pretty much all of the parts except for the lackluster labs parts on these I don't know what you want to call those the wings with the engines on it I decided not to try and use Inferno Robotics to have those pods uh, turn which is what they do there's the uh, Normandy SR1 by the way the one that appears in Mass Effect 1 um, yeah, I thought that that might be a little bit dubious, especially in 1.2.2. I don't think uh, Inferno Robotics is working quite right. I even used the B9 procedural wings to apply that little, uh, I don't know what it is in front of the Normandy there, but it looks good, so I, I left it be. Uh, it's sort of got uh, fangs, if you will. Now, while I was building this for Kerbin here, uh, it was my full intention to make a realism overhaul version about double the size of this Normandy and uh, fly it in interstellar overhaul so you will be seeing that I do have realism overall configurations for my three body pieces as well as lackluster labs uh, here I am sneaking in some RTGs there sizing them up trying to just fill in a gap in the wings it turns out that that's not a very good place to put RTGs but uh, we'll, uh, well, we'll get to that uh, I also put uh, that little thing on top of the horizontal stabilizer. I made that into an RCS tank. I'm not entirely sure what... Uh, probably some sort of antenna is what it's supposed to be. But I'm not entirely sure. I don't have a schematic of the Normandy. But here I am putting RCS. And now we need to launch it. Uh, somebody had asked about uh, returns from the moon. And so I decided that we would go to the moon and try and bring it back from there. Probably in retrospect, not the best idea because it's quite hot coming back from the moon and I didn't really have the best heat tolerances on this thing but anyway we needed a booster because while this has a lot of fuel in um, it's more efficient when it's it's actually got on the outboard pods it's got nervous sorry for the lack of audio by the way but uh, I was playing uh, interesting music during this live stream but the outer pods have nervous and the inner ones have aerospikes so it's running on the aerospikes and then the four vector engines on the booster right now but uh, if it's just filled up with liquid fuel, no oxidizer, and running on the Nervous, it's got great range. I, I forget what it is, but probably in excess of 3,000 meters per second. Uh, probably more than that, actually, come to think of it. I think I still had the oxidizer in when I checked that number. Uh, but here we are. I was not uh, feeding fuel from the booster into the Normandy, and that is because of the balance issues that you already see here. Um, it's having trouble maintaining balance, so I have to shut down the engines and turn off those other two. Actually, interestingly, that was a suggestion made when I was doing my Buran test during the same stream in order to maintain the balance for the Buran. Uh, it gets a little bit close to being unbalanced as it makes orbit, uh, so to turn off those other two. But I used that suggestion here. And so I was able to use all the fuel in the booster booster separates very cleanly very nicely and uh, that's when I discovered that uh, well Normandy is a little bit about you can see it's doing its role here and it's, it's not quite uh, keeping at prograde there 
I do have two reaction wheels on the outer pods, um, but they were not enough. And that's because I think the air spikes are not pointing right through the center of mass, and so it's a little bit hard to control. And if the air spikes aren't uh, pointing through the center of mass, you know that the nervas on the outer side, uh, because they're lower than everything else, uh, definitely are not pointing through the center mass. Anyway, we got to a good apoapsis and eventually I had to start moving fuel around in order to make things balance. You can see two solar panels on top of those pods. I mean, uh, of course, if I uh, just completely modeled Normandy, I could probably make it a lot closer. But I think this is sort of nice, having a sort of mix of just those three parts. It makes it very simple. And, you know, I'm not a very good modeler and I'm definitely not good at texturing. Uh, but I think that this opens opportunities if you just want to make the simple, very simple parts to mimic your favorite sci-fi vessels in Blender. It's possible to do a lot of the other stuff with stuff like B9 procedural wings or procedural parts and stuff like that. Here I'm uh, trying to go to the moon using the Nervas on the outer, out, outside outboard pods. But uh, yeah, I can only go one-third power with them and still maintain balance. So I switched to the aerospikes because I was impatient. And there's a live stream after all. So um, it's not like I could read a book or something. It'd be boring my audience to death. Anyway, so on to the moon we go. And here it is, the Normandy around the moon. And with our uh, booster, it really had quite a lot of fuel to work with here. Yeah, you can see a lot more liquid fuel than oxidizer, of course, which means that ultimately we would have to rely on the Nerva in order to do maneuvers. After getting into a nice orbit around the moon, I transfer back over to Kerbin, demonstrating how to do that. And we start off with the aerospikes, but I also used the Nervas a little bit. Note the docking port on the belly of the Normandy, by the way. Nice view here. The Normandy is very photogenic, obviously. Uh, it looks great as many sci-fi vessels do, but functionality, I mean, so far it's been all right, but actually coming through the atmosphere, which Normandy does in the Mass Effect games, right? It does drop off the Mako, uh, the little uh, altering vehicle that we use in Mass Effect 1, and it dips into the atmosphere to do that, but it looks like um, it does have aerodynamic issues, and you can see it's uh, not able to maintain pitch here, and we lost some antennae. Well, that, that's to be expected. I should have just retracted those. But uh, we also ultimately lose those RTGs. Those are badly placed. Actually, um, the main body of the Normandy is fairly good as far as the heat tolerances are concerned. But the, the anhedral on the wings, the fact that the wings point down instead of up. Up is good for the whole stability and maneuverability thing. Having them point down uh, doesn't seem to really help anything. Uh, not not uh, on this vessel. I try and move the fuel up uh, to forward to the nose uh, in the hope that that could uh, make things a little bit easier on Normandy, but it really wants to be um, upside down. It was strongly attempting to be upside down. And you see here, yeah, uh, it's still pointing prograde though, so so it's just... Um, it's just the tilt of the wings, and I hypothesize that maybe we should have some way of tilting them up, like with Infernal Robotics, but that would also be really dodgy. Um, it is mostly intact, so that's good, but uh, nothing could really save it from impact against the ground. Um, very low speeds until right at the end there, but yeah. So, some more work to do as far as that's concerned, and in this case, I do have leeway to uh, fix the aerodynamics if I can. Um, I, I don't want to mess up the look of the Normandy too much, but uh, some work can be done there, and I'll see what I can manage. But, there you have it. Uh, just with three little custom parts in Blender, uh, a very good-looking Normandy. Uh, uh, not perfect. There are little uh, bits that I added in the Interstellar Overhaul version, so you'll see that in the next Interstellar Overhaul video, and that will include a Normandy with fusion reactors and warp drives, and we're going to try and take it to another planet So with a warp drive. So that should be interesting. Uh, watch out for that, and with that I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.